past the sniper flex because it yep. when you you see xg you see x on your like mid sniper storm is typically his count static link out there is this is a problem for xxs who's trying to run but for finally Garaccio gets first blood and it's going to be through onto this visage so you talked about it raindrops come in they get that kill Garaccio might die is in Q. But they got a kill on a Tofu. DY gets that. Zinkyu tries to timber chain away. He doesn't have a lot of mana, but does have two mangoes. So he'll turn around looking over at the Razor once again. The Visage coming back into play. And they will lose this timber. And they still don't get the kill on the Razor. They come over because he is one of those carries that hits level six and he's ready to go. Ace is he plays aggressive there. and Ace oh, almost. Oh. Almost giving up a lot of gold. They're actually turning around on Ame for a second. They've also okay. got. A DY in trouble, and he will fall to Ace thanks to that disruption thrown out by Tofu. So a little bit of revenge there for the side of game and down bottom. Rodomatos first. Yeah, that's the. We don't have any stuns. I need to buy Atos. You know that that that's the feel right now. Thank you in some trouble. Quinn going for this kill on a level five Timber and will finish him off. Quinn feeling the lack of lockdown that. Deep ward placed here by Tofu, getting some vision deep in the jungle. They see this sniper again. The shrapnel is down. Is the help there? They've got this relocate in. They'll get the kill on XM. They're going to look over at Arachio, though. Do they have the damage? The Icarus dive through from DY. He does have Supernova, the disruption. There's the Supernova. And they get the kill on Arachio. They're going to try and get this egg. Can they get in the familiar stuns? Now the Supernova goes off the soul assumption kill. Tofu's gone. Ame's coming through. He's got the time dilation. He does have time zone. They got the kill on Queen. Zinku's going to be the one who gets credit for that. As Ace is going to try and fight this faceless void. But everybody's here for the side of Extreme Gaming. That is a Live and a triple kill for XXS. And Gaming Gladiator is playing aggressive, but it bites them so hard in the bum. Yeah. Only a 5-5 five to five on the kill score. I'm a little bit worried that now Xtreme have kind of made their time. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's still more to be had here for Gaming Gladiators, but you're seeing it here with this side of Xtreme being aggressive. The immediate TP out for Naraggio, and Celery is dead. XXS now dominating. Yeah, they uh, locate on top. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're just clumped up as five. Arvatos. And they've got the familiars for the back to back lockdown, but it's not going to be enough to get that kill just yet. There's the Glatemir finished for XM. And they're going to fight into this, maybe thinking it's still a Rod of Atos, but it will be a Glatemir that comes on through. They've got the Supernova. Celery's going to try and hit it once. They're going to get the Electric Vortex on Azinkyu. The time zone is down. Queen is dead. The Supernova pops. They get the gun to Celery. They'll go over at Ace. Trying to chase this Timber, but A is not really the valid target. Ame fighting back on Ace's bear. They'll get the 300 gold to go after the hero. They're going to try and get the Lone Druid. They've got the Assassinate charged up and thrown over on the Tofu. That'll get a gun to the Shadow Demon. Finishing off Ace. Four heroes dead. Duraccio gets out, but another big fight for extreme gaming. Doubling down like this is a lot of wasted. Disruption, Ball Lightning, Quinn committing to this, going after him with the Orchid, but they've got the Rod of Atos, they have the Icarus dive, Quinn's out of mana, Quinn's out of life. Damn. Yes, please for me. Uh, did he expect to relocate? Wait. Wisdom Rune at 28 minutes, and they can catch a kill. He's actually coming pretty close, so does Quinn. And they do have vision of this. They have this ward right by the steps. They know that Ace and Quinn have just shown up. They were close, but now they're going to go to the ball lightning, go to the backlines. They've got the Orchid on a DY, but they get the kill on a Celery. Now the Orchid, the silence, the kill is in and out. Oh, DY! After the Orchid's able to survive with a sliver of health against the Supernova off! You've got to be kidding me. They can't even kill the Phoenix. They finally get the kill on XXS, but the right clicks onto the bear. XM free to just shoot away. Glaipnir's going to be used. That's on Ace as well as Despair. They get the kill to the bear. They'll take out Lone Druid next. Three heroes dead on the side of Gaming Gladiators. The Lotus instead of second Shiva. <laughs> 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 who, who can blame him at this point? It's just they're, uh, they're winning this game at the moment at least. Very convincingly. They're going for the Cypher. 
But it's not easy. This Sunray keeping XM alive. Do they have the damage? He's on the edge. He's got nine health. He's gone. All right, they get this kill, but how much is it going to cost them? They'll end up losing Celery. Duraccio goes down. They'll look over at Zinku. This is a four position Timber that they are trying to kill. The right clicks are coming through. They've got the Orchid. They'll get the kill. They'll take out the Timber. Now they're going to look over at XXS as well as Ame, but they're going to try and fight back. Nobu is here with some help from DY. As XXS goes down to the ground, comes back up, goes after Tofu's sole assumption, but there's the fear, the root, the kill, and a good defense there for the side of Game of Gladiators. This item's value in him getting it loses a lot before it's even there. Ace is in a bit of a precarious position, and Timber Chain all the way across. Time dilation, Icarus Dive going for the fear, has the sun ray, familiars are here. They will have the lockdown, but do they have the damage? They've got some help from Tofu. Can he get the disruption off? Yes, he can. That will avoid the assassinate, but the bear's gonna be dead and so will Ace. Yeah, they the disruption really not though. enough. They can wait for the IO now. There is no long Druid. They know the relocate is going to come back, so this might be another freebie. Uh -oh. Might be and will be. Oh. Oh, well. Tofu. Yeah, three heroes without buyback. They're going for tier fours. There's a buyback available on Tofu, and he's going to use it. The ball lighting in. They've got the Vortex. It's going to be onto the Sniper. The Lotus Orb is there. They've got the Round of Atos on a Quinn. They'll go to the BKB, and he'll have to ball lightning and keep his distance. There's still time zone, and there's still Supernova. These tier fours are starting to get low. Well, one's dead, and the other one's about to be gone. BKB no longer available for Quinn, so he needs to be careful. They'll still focus the throw, and they've got Narashi and Tofu off to the side. Quinn's gonna end up dead. He's got buyback. They'll use it. And Glatemere immediately purged off thanks to this Lotus Orb. The Timber Chain away, getting out of the static link. They'll go after Quinn. They've got themselves a second kill on him in just a moment, but he ball lightning's back in. Doesn't matter. The throne is dead. The pipes buys the mechs, buys the blade mails and whatnot. Then you have this offlaner who can just rush that flank and play. Uh, this is rough. TPN committed there. DY. Not a fast enough TP, but they go to the Blood Grenade and they're gonna rebound and try and get some speed to get this kill on the Quinn. And the right clicks are not gonna be enough just yet, but finally, even with that defense matrix, they'll get that first kill and they're gonna dive under the tower for Tofu. The laser is there, but DY hitting away. Nobody else coming towards mid just yet, but finally, Sower's gonna start that TP. They've got the machines down, the TP is stopped. And oh, Tofu, over. he's gonna die. And this is a dive that gets a double kill here for XM. Kill this rough lane. DY coming over again. Tofu nearby, they aren't gonna make the jump on anything just yet. They're really helping this Viper a lot. Like he just came in and gave him a tango and moved away even though your Wind Ranger is your true carry and she might get gone on top. She's alone. Yeah, she is. Exit of the Torrent. They've got the machines down, and that will be a hit coming through from that Tidebringer. And they did get the kill, though, while that was happening over top on his NQ. He's going to be stuck at level 3. He's going into the Arcane Boots, just trying to get anything he can. And they're going to TP up XM. DYC with the rebound. They've got the Dispose. XM uses that Viper Strike, and then we'll get the skill to the Kunkka. <laughs> that deny out of spite just before he dies. You know? <laughs> One more thing that I can do. Yep. Like we saw in games past. But things pretty quiet. Uh, game one, it, it started to pop off at around the 15 minute mark. As Tofu now, he's gonna be the one in trouble. They've got that Viper Strike. The laser's there. They've got the break. Quinn gonna help out. Telekinesis is pulling him back. But they'll throw over the Poison Touch. Tofu even staying nearby. And she will use the Wukongs on Ahame, who's only level five. They get the kill on Zin Q. DY walking his way over, but XM now running away. So he's trying to get a die. It hits Tofu for the moment. The right click's coming into the Quinn. Duraccio's in, but Ame still looking to go. He's got a power shot ready in a second. Shackle in five. There's the defense matrix. Gets up out of the high ground, jumps into the tree, and will escape. They have smoke. They are looking towards top as Duraccio. While well, they're looking top, they're losing bottom. They lose this Monkey King, and it's up. Let's see if that timing, when that timing comes, if they can accomplish what they want with him. They'll go to the X, and they will steal the Ghost Ship. Yeah, so this is going to be thrown over. They've got the Freezing Field on top of XM, but XM just walks away. 
Justin. There's the blood grenade. Spear lands. Celery on the edge of this arena. That is rough for the Crystal Maiden. They dropped a lot there to try and get this kill on XM. Mm -hmm. He's not <laughs> not living here. Yeah, very nicely done by Ace, by the way. He caught They want to go for XM. Primal Spring, but now they've got the rebound. That's going to be enough speed for XM to get away from this. Dispose Durachio onto the tower? Oh, no. It was the Monkey King. They're trying to play aggressive, and they're going to lose their heroes. They'll bring in Quinn and Celery to try and stop them from getting the kill here on Ace. They lose DY, so they will save Kunkka. But again, Durachio on the damage, but when you're playing with the Monkey King, that grave can be so crucial. Thank you. Ooh. All right. Well, they were trying to get this kill onto the Rubik, but the Primal Spring coming from ZQ. He's up at the trees and down again. They'll get the kill. Duraccio back to back deaths. ZQ <laughs> again, just mid. He. He's really enjoying this tree dance, by the way. They're gonna find Quinn, they've got the spear, and the power shot gets the kill. The ghost ship is in, the Wukong's command is through, and DQ trying to maybe steal that Wukong, so he'll hold on to the tree dance for the moment. It's still a fantastic spell to, to keep, you know, like, take... Mm -hmm. Not quite finding anything, and they've got wards down here. Oh, that's just frostbite. have not been taken out. The frostbite from a distance. There's the spear. Kunkka in trouble. And they're going to rebound in. They go to the arena. They've got themselves the shallow grave with the damage coming in from the Wind Rider. It's going to be too much for them to handle. Tofu, Quinn, and Ace are all dead. Wu Kong's command is not going to command anybody on the side of Extreme Gaming. And it's a four hero loss for Gaming Gladiators. Uh, that's and Ame nice. tipping Duraccio as well. Of some sorts. But uh, it looks like Quinn is being chased instead. Yeah, four staff, then the rebound, the speed up, and now they go to the poison touch. That's responded with a Viper Strike. The Frostbite, the BKB, the turnaround, but the damage from XM is going to be too much. The stolen ghost ship flies through from ZinQ. They'll get the kill under the Rubik. They'll take out one of the Primal Spring under the back lines, looking over at XXS. However, not, it's not looking like Extreme want to go in just yet. Fight. Mid lane ace. That all yeah, Spear, but he's got the X. But however, it's not going to matter with that Yules. It's really well done, and now they'll have to dispose. They'll have the control. They'll get this kill. Ahame doing his best chance at doing carry participation by throwing yeah, the power shot to get the kill. And now they've got the arena on the Quinn as well as Tofu. They'll get the Spear. They've got the Root. They have the Glacier. They'll get the kill on a bolt. They lose There's XXS, Tofu. but it doesn't quite matter. Ahame goes in, looking over at Celery. Pops the BKB. Triple kill here for the Windrunner. And they are in the base, 20 to 7, 10,000 net worth lead. Date book, you know? That's what you do on first date. So, we're gonna have three kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of those guys. Are scanning. Celery, I have scouted. <laughs> it's not fair, Zinku's playing Black Myth Rubik over here. And meanwhile, they've got the arena down. They get the kill to Quinn and Celery. It's gonna be Ame with another double kill. He's godlike. And they will throw that ghost ship over. They get the gun to XXS. It's going to be another ghost ship that lands. They've got the dispose. They're still working in the Wukong's command. They'll take out the Raggio. Three heroes dead. The TP attempt from Tofu. And he escapes the grasp of extreme gaming. As it's a three for one once again. Yeah, that was... They're just in the snow. I don't know how this has happened. Look to my screen, by the way. Oh, he was jumps in. Thank you. Jumping in, Quinn's dead on his screen immediately. And they're gonna try and take a shovel to Celery and dig him out of that snow. But he gets up out of the high ground. He's up in 20. And they hold their high ground. 16,000 net worth lead here for the side of Extreme Gaming. And that is going to be a torrent landing from ZQ out of two heroes that opens up this fight. With the arena there, they get the kill to Tofu and Celery. They'll take the tier of three. Those two heroes don't have buyback. Dazzle's back up, but your bottom set of racks are gone. The mid set of racks are also gone. And they will torrent up the Kunkka. They land the Viper Strike. That shallow grave. Well, it's shallow. But how long can you last in a grave that's shallow? They'll dig it deeper for him. They'll kill him off. They'll get the kill on a Queen and Ace. And it's a 2 0 for Extreme Gaming as they call GG on the side of Gaming Gladiators. When we got the schedule and when I saw our games, I didn't expect...